Shinya is a genius and a graduate student of Saitama University. His fellow classmate Ayame is also a prodigy, and one day she confesses to him while they are both working on their research. Shinya asks Ayame how she defines love, and Ayame presents scientific evidence to demonstrate her feelings for him, including data such as the time she has spent with him at university. Shinya ponders over Ayame's presentation and tells her that he previously had a dream about her. Shinya would like to test Ayame's love hypothesis, while fellow student Kanade arrives and watches them talk nonsense. Later, Shinya and Ayame act out a wall slam scene from a romantic manga to collect data as part of their experiment. They try other actions from romance manga to collect further data, but as they practice wall slam over a hundred times it becomes much less romantic. Kanade, who helped them experiment, insists that they must be falling in love with each other, but her use of anecdotal evidence doesn't impress Shinya. Ayame steps in when Shinya gets too heated, and he proclaims that he will prove mathematically that love exists. Kanade explains to her friend that she, Shinya, and Ayame are part of the Information Sciences Department at Saitama University who use math to study social and natural sciences. Unfortunately, their research advisor and not just plays games instead of producing research. The graduate students want to publish research to help the world, but when Shinya needs to collect heart rate data for an experiment, he runs away. They catch him and Ayame raises his heart levels after she makes him stroke her hair. But when Enna insists they reproduce the experiment, and his heart rate also rises with Kanade and Enna, Shinya has to explain that being around women makes him nervous. Later Kanade is trying to find a topic for her thesis when she runs into Shinya and Ayame trying another love experiment. They are trying to see if love will make food taste better, and Kanade joins the experiment. After they discuss complicated testing methods, Kanade suggests they conduct a blind taste test instead, with Ayame cooking a meal with and without love to see which one tastes better. But Ayame biases the experiment by writing a heart on one of the plates. The experiment is inconclusive, so Kanade goes back to figuring out her thesis. Shinya then arrives with food for her, revealing that he and Ayame were also cooking for her so she doesn't forget to eat while doing research. Shinya and Ayame want to conduct another experiment, but they find their romantic knowledge and experience lacking. They decide to interview fellow student Kosuke who claims to have lots of experience as well as a girlfriend Eika that he is very close to. After hearing about Kosuke's experience, Ayame becomes worried that she is lagging behind in romance. And when Kosuke says that he spends lots of money on Eika, she feels that she will never reach his level. But Enna reveals that Kosuke's girlfriend is actually a character from a dating simulator that he has spent a lot of money on, including a body pillow he sleeps with every night. Shinya comes up with a hypothesis about love based on romantic preferences that could include 2D characters, but when Ayame indicates some inferiority to Kosuke, Shinya retracts his statements and determines that Kosuke's romance is too unusual to draw good conclusions from. Kanade and Ayame talk together, and Ayame reveals that as a child she was bullied by others for her gloomy personality, and she met a young bullied boy who told her not to feel bothered by their bullies and focus on the future. The boy influenced Ayame to improve people's perception of her, and she grew up to be a dignified and cool person. Kanade quickly determines that the boy must have been Shinya, but neither Shinya nor Ayame recognize themselves from their childhoods. The two later want to experiment with a date. They ask Kanade about a previous date she had gone on, and they ask Kosuke about a 2D date he went on. They end up deciding to go to an amusement park together, and they use the traveling salesman problem to determine the most efficient route to go on all the romantic rides in the park. Shinya and Ayame arrive at the amusement park with their clipboards and their lab coats. But before they can start the experiment, Kanade, and Kosuke arrive to force them to dress normally. Kanade takes them to a shopping mall to buy casual clothes. Meanwhile, Shinya reveals that he and Ayame are wearing multiple sensors on their bodies to track physiological data such as heart rate for the experiment. Kanade finds that even when buying clothes, both Shinya and Ayame debate on formulas to find the best way to purchase clothes and maximize value. It is also revealed that Enna is childhood friends with Kosuke and forced him to go watch the date to keep the two grad students out of trouble. Shinya and Ayame have trouble on their date because Shinya has trouble with hand-holding, and while Ayame is walking to leave a stranger sees her and tries to ask her out on a date. Ayame tries to reject him with a mathematical presentation, but he becomes confused. Shinya then arrives and takes Ayame's hand, and when confronted presents scientific data proving that the man does not love her. Shinya and Ayame then leave to go to the amusement park, while Kanade and Kosuke record the incident. At the amusement park Kanade and Kosuke watch as Shinya and Ayame spend most of the time discussing the physics of the rides, and both of them have changed back into their lab coats. Finally after numerous rides, Shinya decides to ignore the experiment plan and he gives Ayame a gift of earrings instead, and the two decide they should conduct another experiment date in the future. A girl runs into Shinya on the way to school in a classic and unlikely romantic scenario, but Shinya presents scientific arguments that all scenarios are equally likely, and he leaves while she calls him a nerd. 
At university, the graduate students want to present their experiment and data at the bi-monthly lab meeting with their professor Ikeda. Ikeda arrives and announces a conference with other universities and suggests that Kanade and Kosuke present their research topics at the conference. But the normally easygoing Ikeda becomes angry when Kosuke reveals he hasn't started on his research yet. Shinya and Ayame then present their research into love to the professor, but Ikeda just becomes confused about the dating experiment as the two graduate students become increasingly embarrassed when presenting the data for their experiment. Ikeda is confused but thinks that research into the psychology of love could be interesting if they conduct further research with more participants. Enna assigns Shinya and Kosuke to run the wall experiment, and Kosuke challenges Enna to see who reacts more when they do a hugging experiment. But Enna wins by pretending to be Kosuke's 2D girlfriend Eika. They later talk about their childhood memories with each other, and since Kosuke lost he has to buy Enna lots of dango. Later they want to conduct a kiss experiment between Shinya and Ayame, but Ayame is not happy that their first kiss be part of an experiment. Kanade agrees that the conditions need to be more romantic. Ayame misunderstands and determines that they need to design the experiment to be more romantic. The group collects data on what are the most romantic situations for a possible kiss, and discusses aspects such as attraction, lighting, and eye contact. They formulate an equation for the mood value of a place for a kiss, and after receiving some math help from Ikeda they determine the romantic place would be sundown on top of the research tower. As the control tests for the experiment, they pair up with each other and kiss hands. But Ayame and Kanade share a sister-like moment, and she kisses her forehead. For the other pairs, they either don't participate or they play games instead. Finally when it's time for Shinya and Ayame, they are interrupted by a nearby helicopter, and then the janitor. Ayame is disappointed and demands they kiss anyway, but Shinya kisses her hair and promises he will make their first kiss more special another time. The lab has a party together at the end of the semester, and Kanade is looking forward to a college party. But she discovers that the lab has a tradition to recite prime numbers to each other, and is unable to compete because she hasn't memorized prime numbers. Ayame explains the importance of prime numbers in mathematics as being important to solving some of math's greatest problems. Ayame later becomes drunk and clingy to Shinya, while Kosuke also becomes drunk and clingy to Enna. Aikida falls asleep. And when Kanade becomes drunk she takes out her frustrations on Shinya and Ayame telling them to stop playing around and start dating each other. Since everyone is drunk, Shinya decides to pass the time by reading a book. After the party the group decide to look into classical fairy tales for more data on love, but after exploring stories like Cinderella and other romantic tales such as the tale of the bamboo cutter. But after acting out and pondering the fairy tales, Shinya determines that the fairy tales are way too unrealistic and they cannot use such data for their experiments. Kosuke is running out of time to come up with his research topic, even though the conference with the other universities is starting soon. Kosuke complains that the stresses of university are weighing on him and that he finds his coursework too abstract to understand. Although concerned, Ikeda advises Kosuke to look to his hobbies as inspiration, such as applying mathematical formulae to dating simulators to explore efficient ways to play dating routes. Ikeda and Enna also suggest Kosuke look at his soccer skills as an inspiration, and study the mathematical physics behind soccer. Meanwhile Shinya is helping Kanade with her presentation, and tells her not to write too much text on her slides. Ayame arrives and reveals that she and Shinya want to conduct their next experiment on the hormone oxytocin. Oxytocin is responsible for many behaviors such as excitement and happiness, so they want to conduct an experiment to use oxytocin to determine attraction. Shinya and Ayame use hugging to study the effects of oxytocin, but get too distracted in their experiment. Afterwards, a former student of Ikeda named Erika arrives at the lab. Erika hears about their love experiments and wishes to use her skills as a manga artist to draw the two graduate students into a manga series. When Ikeda invites Erika to the conference, she reveals her desire to write manga that will be globally popular, and Shinya and Ayame become worried about agreeing to her offer. The lab has to fly to Okinawa for the conference, and while on the plane Ayame scolds Shinya for trying to do more science on the plane. After takeoff, Kanade wonders about the mathematics of flying, and Ayame explains the physics behind planes to the undergraduate but her explanations become distracted when she starts thinking about Shinya. The lab arrives in Okinawa and they discover that Erika has gracefully paid for the luxury hotel they will be staying at, even though she is struggling as an artist. They go to the beach, where Shinya and Ayame become embarrassed seeing each other in their beachwear. They later try watermelon splitting with directions given in complex numbers, where Kosuke fails but Ikeda wins and explains how to calculate imaginary numbers. Shinya and Ayame want to conduct another experiment together, but they stop when they become too embarrassed to have close physical contact while at the beach together. Meanwhile Enna teases Kosuke about their childhood memories together when they were at the beach. Later a guy tries to ask out Enna, but Kosuke knocks him out and tells him to stay away. Enna becomes embarrassed but thanks Kosuke for protecting her. 
Later that night, Ayame is thinking about romantic situations with Shinya. And when Shinya visits her room, she hopes that he wants to conduct experiments, but instead they focus on preparing Kanade for her presentation. A disappointed Ayame hypothesizes that she craves contact with Shinya because they have been too busy preparing for the conference to spend time with each other. A student from Tokyo University presents, and although Kanade is intimidated by the research, he is kicked off the stage by his professor for not preparing well for questions. Kosuke is the next and he presents his research into NP-HAR and shortest path algorithms in dating simulators. A famous professor begins to criticize Kosuke on researching romance games, but Kosuke argues his research would be useful for people who play games. Kanade is slated to present next and to calm her anxiety Shinya hugs her, but they are seen by Ayame. Shinya tries to argue that a recent paper suggested that hugging before presentations boosts performance, and he gives her a lab coat. Kanade then presents her research into the traveling salesman problem using her observations on Shinya's and Ayame's amusement park data. The professors in the audience start to question her, and Kanade is successfully able to answer and impress the audience. After the presentations, Ayame confronts Shinya. Ayame is unhappy that Shinya hugged Kanade, and although Shinya explains it was to help Kanade calm down, Ayame scolds him and leaves. The lab then tries to relax by going to the aquarium, but the mood has turned bad due to the argument between Shinya and Ayame. Shinya tries to come up with a formula to discover why Ayame is angry, but she hits him and walks away. Later Ayame meets Kanade, and admits she is frustrated that she is acting so emotionally. They all leave the aquarium disappointed. And that night Shinya presents additional theories to Kosuke about why Ayame might be mad. Kanade apologizes to Ayame, but Ayame reveals she was more concerned about the argument than the hug. Ayame adds jealousy to her equations about love but is disappointed when she can't share her research with Shinya. Kanade then persuades Ayame to make up with Shinya. Ayame remembers growing up she felt isolated because the other students had trouble understanding her. She meets with Kanade and Erika to come up with ways to reconcile with Shinya, and she prepares an apology thesis as well as a gift. But on the way to Shinya she trips and breaks her gift, and she runs away upset and embarrassed. Meanwhile, Shinya reads the apology thesis. Kanade is worried that Ayame hasn't returned so she goes to Shinya and Kosuke for help. They can't seem to find her so they decide to split up and search the entire hotel. And Na reveals that she saw Ayame trip on the staircase of the hotel. Shinya then meets Erika and accuses her of breaking Ayame's present. He determined from the physics of Ayame's fall that it was not possible for Ayame to have broken the present, and that Erika must have sabotaged it. Erika finally admits that she did break the gift because she wanted to have more drama for her manga. Erika wants her manga about them to be popular, and as an artist she needs them to be in desperate situations. Erika then gives Shinya the direction she saw Ayame run to, as well as the real gift, showing that she had broken a fake one. The sad Ayame ends up on a bridge far away from the hotel, and thinks about her past regrets. Shinya finds her and Ayame starts to apologize, but Shinya starts to scientifically criticize her apology thesis. They then apologize to each other and hug each other, and eventually they kiss each other as the sun rises on the bridge. Since Ayame injured herself while running, Shinya carries her back to the hotel but he is very weak. He struggles to make his way back to the group, who head home to their lab, eager to continue the love experiments. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.